Hey guys, so today we're gonna cover the mediums melee options and just my overall thoughts of these weapons, but let's dive into it. So we're gonna cover the dual blades as well as the riot shield. These are just my thoughts and maybe kind of where they stack up comparatively to the rest of the mediums weapons and should you be using them? And I think you should be. These are a lot of fun weapons. I mean, the dual blades ability to dish out damage quickly, but also to be able to send damage back to the enemy is a blast. And the riot shield has a lot of field control that no one wants to get close to you because they have to bypass your shield to do damage to you. So I think both these weapons are a ton of fun. They have very similar damage outputs between the two. Now I will say the riot shield does feel a little more heavy hitting than the dual blades but at the end of the day it's just gonna be a preference of how you want to play if you want to be a little bit more you know i sit on the objective i walk up with uh, a shield be a little bit more you know scary in that sense i mean when someone sees you walk up with the shield they're kind of not sure what to do now the dual blades the funny thing is is when people see the dual blades they're just going to charge you no matter what not thinking too much about it but you know, you're still something to reckon with with the dual blades. And like I said, the fact that you can pretty much dish damage back out, as long as you are aiming at the person who is shooting at you, you're going to deal damage right back to them. And you do it quickly. Uh, even when blocking, you will take some damage, but it's not that much. Uh, but I, I think overall I prefer the dual blades, but the right shield is still a lot of fun. Um, but that's just kind of my two cents on the two. I... I, I just find a lot more fun with the dual blades overall. Um, but I did get a team wipe with with the riot shield, just because you are dealing what seems to be a little bit more heavy hits as long as the other team has taken some damage. But that's just kind of my two cents. And where that kind of sits in with the rest of the medium's weapon choices is, I wouldn't say it's maybe as good as the F car or maybe even like the medium shotgun, but these are some really good weapons still, and since they made some changes within the last this past season, with making melee weapons a little bit more, it, I, some people might call it like aim assist, but they definitely gravitate when swinging. They kind of hone in on people a little bit more than than normal. But at the end of the day, I think it it, it frustrates me some, but at the end of the day, it, it puts them more in the running to be utilized. Where in the past they they just didn't seem like they were worth it just due to the fact that every time you swung it just seemed like you were missing non-stop so the aim assist is both on pc and console um so outside of that i think pcs lose their aim assist with guns but that's fine that's not uncommon but that's just over my overall thoughts of these weapons they're fun to play with not sure if i would choose them maybe in ranked but they're a lot a lot of fun i would recommend getting into them playing with them a little bit um, a lot of people get frustrated by melee weapons just because you're up close smacking them and they feel like they're just pelting you with bullets as you're just beating them to death. <laughs> so that's just kind of my overall thoughts of the mediums melee. Uh, get out there, try them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think the mediums melee is not as good as maybe the heavies or the lights? I think they're just as good. So let me know down in the comments. And I'll catch you guys on the finals, and you guys have a good on one. On behalf of our sponsors, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.